my name is Seth, I'm with Simply Coding, and this video is to show you a little bit about the user experience and our curriculum and why it was created the way it was. So whether you're looking at a summer camp or you're a library or a rec center open to the public or you're a high school or middle school and want to offer as an elective course, the students are going to be interacting with our curriculum in some way. So if I come over to our curriculum tab, we have created a pathway, meaning we have beginner courses that then move on into intermediate and then come into some advanced really fun stuff, virtual reality, 3D game design, Android apps in Java, and we hope to give the student a nice variety of coding so that by the time they're done, they're ready for, for college courses, for an internship, but they also know what they enjoyed about coding. So a couple of main points. We are here to teach them how to write code in the native environment. When they are doing these, this JavaScript game design course, for example, they will be using a text editor, Atom or Sublime Text, and seeing what it's like in a real coding environment. Same with all these courses, Python, Java, you know, they'll be using Eclipse and whatever IDE is correct for the coding that they're going to be doing. So in this pathway, what we want them to do is develop an online portfolio. At the end of each course, they're going to create something to add to their portfolio, and we use a service called GitHub to host all that for free. So this is just a little example. Here's some website projects, some JavaScript projects, uh, more JavaScript, some Python, some Java. And really the goal of this is if they were in an interview for an internship or a college, they could say, yeah, here's the coding that I've done. This is my website, my URL. If you want to see a little bit of what I understand and what I've built, you can open one up, you can look at the source code, and you could then talk about what these functions do, what this timeout, the set interval function do, how that contributes to the game. And that's a really neat thing to do when you're inside of an interview to let them know that you not only went through these courses, but you understand the code behind it. And that's what the second main goal is. We want to take the student to the point where they can go on and read online about um, coding, new tools. You know, it's not gonna be the same in six months, nine months, a couple of years. But if they understand a foundation where they can go and read online and understand the, that documentation, they can then implement it into the custom project that they wanna do. So let's go ahead and log in, and I'll show you the pattern that we follow. Let me come into this account, and you will see exactly what the student would experience. So they come to this page. Here's all the courses that are available to them. Uh, we have announcements, some of the stuff that they've uploaded. So if I click on this intro to websites, and oh, it's on this ID page. So this is the format that all of our individual lessons follow. Now they're building a big project, so each lesson is adding to that project step by step. This individual lesson, particularly that we're looking at, is dealing with how do I, what are IDs inside of HTML and how do they work with CSS? So this is CSS, the style sheet communicating with their website being written in HTML. So the first slide will always be some text examples, they'll be looking at some code and just get wrapping their mind around, okay, what is this new concept? Now there might be some questions here that they can click on these and answer them. Nope, try again, way to go. And they would obviously read them and see what's going on. So they can either go through this text or they can go ahead and click on these videos. They're really short. They mainly just go focus on this one page slide. That way they can know what's going to happen. And then when they understand this slide, they click this gray arrow and they come onto this next page that's a practice. Now you'll see this is a little embedded editor right here with some instructions. This allows them to play around with code without having to now to figure out what's going on in their big project where they might mess it up at first and get frustrated. So this is a playground. This is a sandbox. They can come on in here and do the code however they want. You know, if they wanted to say, okay, I'm doing IDs, and they'd be following these steps here, and they could say, I know about changing colors. Let's see if it works. There we go, the color's green. I want an orange. And they could just mess around in this editor and play around until they're really comfortable. Now, the last slide is this activity. So in the activity, they'll have um, the goal. What's this activity going to do to their project? They're now coding in the real environment and it's gonna have these steps. Now we're in a beginner class, so there's gonna be hints. So the step is add an ID to your opening body tab. Okay, if that doesn't make sense to them or if they need a reminder, they can click on this hint and say, ah, oh, okay, I need to find my opening body tag. I'm gonna give it an ID. Now I'm gonna be able to manipulate the whole background. 
Again, they can either read through these steps or they can click here and watch the video. So I hope that was helpful. We have a number of different courses that you can look through um, and you'll find that same format over and over. If I were to just click on one, here we go. So we have a little interaction here. This one deals with how to get the ball moving or whatever, that this is the pong game, but how to get their object moving and what's the initial thrust. And again, they'll go through a little practice scenario and then an activity. Now, inevitably, coding is not easy. There is a learning curve. We have chat support. And after hours, it turns to email support that comes right to us that we can answer and email back. So we want to be there to help anyone who needs a mentor for a minute, who needs to ask more questions, maybe see another example. That's great. That's why we provide this so that learning how to code becomes a great experience. I hope this was helpful. Let us know how we can help you and appreciate you watching this video. Thanks.